So, you know when you're in class and you're, you hear that student, or you might be that student, that you're acting like you tell your answer in a, like a squeaky voice and your teacher is like, are you asking me a question or are you telling me? So, let's just say, let's just do this for example. The teacher says, what is seven times five? And then you raise your hand, and then, or a student raises their hand, and they say, 35? And then the teacher tells you, are you asking me or are you telling me? That's the type of mindset we have to have of the question, am I beautiful? Are you asking other people that or are you telling other people that? We are constantly looking for reassurance if we're beautiful from other people. Instead of telling ourselves that we are beautiful. Just like when we are like these expectations that society makes us have. So, the, so society makes us believe that we need big boobs to be beautiful, that we need curves to be beautiful, we need big butt to be beautiful. And we believe ourselves, we need these things to be beautiful. And if we don't have these things, then we're not beautiful. That's what society makes us believe. And if we didn't have a mirror, we didn't have any way to see our reflection, we didn't have a camera, then how will we know how we look like? We'll look for reassurance from other people if we're beautiful. We wouldn't because we wouldn't even know what we look like. We wouldn't know what to even change about ourselves. It comes from that. Are you asking people, if you're constantly looking for reassurance if you're beautiful, then even if someone tells you you're beautiful, you're not going to believe it. You are not going to believe them because you're not, it's not going to go through your brain if you need reassurance from other people. You should believe yourself that you are beautiful. But how do you do that? How do you believe yourself that you're beautiful? How do you let other people's words not affect you? So, you know how two plus two is four. You know it right now. You don't need to go to what? You don't need to finish high school. You don't need to go to college have a degree to know that two plus two is four you know it that's what you need to do you need to know you're beautiful yourself and you need to have that confidently you need to always remember that you don't need to read a motivational quote you don't need to listen to some a motivational video you need to have that in your heart in your mind that needs to constantly you don't need to count you don't even need to count two plus two maybe in kindergarten you need to count what like two plus two is four but once you i don't know when you get older or you start getting in other grades you're not going to need to count you're going to know two plus two four you need to be that confident with that question if you are beautiful and if someone tells you if someone tells you two plus two is six you're going to know they're wrong you're going to be like, hey, you're wrong. Two plus two is not six. It's four. You're not going to need to count. You're not going to even know how to count. Because once you have that in your head, you're confident on it. You don't need anybody to tell you otherwise. It's the same thing whether we're beautiful or we're not beautiful. If we believe ourselves that we're beautiful, if we have that strong mindset, then we believe it. We don't. And even if somebody tells us that we're ugly or we're not beautiful or we don't have good curves or we don't have a big enough butt or anything wrong about us we have it confidently that we are beautiful so we know they're wrong and our words affect them us less because when we're not confident if we're beautiful then we start believing what other people say to us when we are when we practice how did you learn that two plus two is four how do you know that two plus two is four You've been practicing ever since you were little. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to fix this. You need to fix this. Your mindset. You need to practice. Just like you learned your multiplication tables. When you learn your multiplication tables, every day you practice. The same thing you need to do. If you're weak with when it comes to your self-esteem, you need to practice a healthy self-esteem. Not the type that society tries to make us believe that we need to be beautiful. We need to have a healthy self-esteem. And we don't need, and once we have that, we don't need reassurance from other people that we're beautiful. 
And we shouldn't even be looking for reassurance from other people that we're beautiful. It should be ourselves we're looking for reassurance. Because a person that decides whether we're beautiful or not, it's your mind. We can't be constantly looking for reassurance from other people. So when the teacher asks you a question and you're confident on your answer, you're going to be raising your hand maybe, unless you're shy, <laughs> like it's me. You're going to be raising your hand and you're not going to be the one asking uh, four. You're going to be the one that's saying confidently four. And if somebody tries to tell you, no, it's six, you're going to know you're wrong. Maybe you're not going to even tell them you're wrong. You're going to just know they're wrong. Because you have that confidently in your heart and your mind. And you're constantly practicing that. And at a time, and at a time, you, like, when you have that confidence and you have that in your mind and your heart because you've been practicing it so long, do you need to practice if 2 plus 2 is 4 anymore? No. Because that was kindergarten. Or first grade. Maybe some people don't need to learn, to, I mean, practice the multiplications anymore because they have it already in their heart. Once you have something in your heart, then you move on to the next thing. Maybe there's something else you need to work on. But it's like that with everything. Even with guys. Guys, they're constantly under the expectation that they need to have muscles. They need to have, they need to be jacked or they need to be good looking to have a girl. And why do people do this? Why do girls doll their face up? Why do guys need to go look jacked? It's because at the end of the day, we don't want to be lonely. We want to have someone that loves us and we want to feel love. We want love. We're creatures, we're humans. We want love. Everybody wants love. Whether it's platonic, romantic, we need people. We're social. We need people in our lives that make us feel loved. And if a person doesn't if a person doesn't love you just because of the way you look, then they don't love you at all, period. And you deserve better. You deserve someone that loves you what, no matter how you look like. And you should be confident in that. And that's why you need to practice a positive mindset of what is beautiful. And that's what you need to practice. And once you practice and you have it down, nobody can tell you otherwise and nobody can change that. So what you need to change today is not this you don't need to spend an hour in your makeup today you don't need to save up for a body lift and we do this to make ourselves happy we need to practice this our mindset having a positive mindset and that will make us feel happy and make us feel loved and we'll know that if somebody doesn't love us for that then they are not the one. Thank you so much for watching. Star out and officially lights out.